Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Wednesday, March 27th and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number two vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when I looked at the energies in today, I took one look at the energies in today and the first thing that came to mind was, woo child, like I don't even talk like that, but that's how I felt from it. The reason why I felt like that from it, I look, the first of all, today is Wednesday. Wednesday's ruled by Mercury energy. Mercury is in Aries. And also to the moon is influencing today because the energies in the day adds up and reduce the number two vibration. So there's a combination of aggression, passive aggressive is how I would look at the energies in today because Mercury at 25 degrees conjunct Chiron is, you, you know, wanting to say what's on your mind, let them have it. But then the moon and Scorpio don't operate that way. You know, Scorpio is similar to Cancer energy, Pisces energy, the, the water energy. They're not going to come out and let you know that. Um, they're not going to come out straight and let you know, like, you know, we got a problem. But something about the where Mercury is, is like Mercury is in a place where I can't help but, but tell them what's on my mind. But the moon is like, but then that makes me a target. Like, they don't need to know that I don't like them. I mean, my actions alone say I don't like them. I don't, I don't speak and I keep to myself. But Mercury and Aries is like, but they need to know. So it's like there's this back and forth. And then the moon ruling over the energies in the day with um, the, the energies adding up to number two vibration. It brings a sensitive aspect to the day. But at the same time, it's like, to me, it's like something's boiling under the surface low key. It's like, I don't want to expose my hand, but it's like, I got to fight to keep my mouth shut. It's like fighting to keep my mouth shut because, ooh, and the feeling that came over me, ooh, child, like, if I only say what I want to say, like, it's almost like what they say, if looks could kill, is like, whatever someone's holding back, it's like, it's like doing somebody a favor by keeping their mouth shut is how this feels, the energies in the day. Because even though the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number two vibration and the number two is emotional and sensitive, it doesn't feel emotional or sensitive. But when it comes to the T-square being made between the moon, Mercury, and Pluto, Definitely something around a power struggle and communication. And also, too, I'm getting this feeling of like, it's like the stiff, dense energy. And what the stiff, dense energy represents for me, it's like, um, how would I put it? Like, it's like something happening and someone, it's like someone crossing you. You, you think that you don't have a problem with them, but you actually do have a problem with them. And it's like something happens where it's like you feel some type of way about something petty or minor, but the thing that you think is that you feel some type of way about is not the thing you feel some type of way about. And you've been not really messed with this person like that, but at the same time, like convince, trying to convince yourself otherwise and something comes up to show you like, yeah, you really don't. And when it comes to the spirit animal, we have the tarantula energy and with the tarantula energy, for me, spider energy, um, 
for me, spider energy always brought me to paying attention to myself. Meaning whenever spiders would show up in my world, it was always important for me to pay attention to how the spider showed up and what the spider was doing. And where in my life, where in my, where in my space it showed up? Was it in the bedroom? Was it in the bathroom? Like where was the spider and what was the spider doing? And for me, most of the times when spiders show up, it's because I'm weaving a web of delusion, not seeing the reality of something around me. So this could be, say for example, you're getting to know someone and for whatever reason, you're choosing to see the potential in a person or in the situation and you're not allowing yourself to see the actual person or see the actual thing. So when it comes to today, to me, this T-square with the moon, Pluto, and Mercury, it's like acknowledging something. And then the moon is positively aspecting Saturn and Mars conjunct Venus and Pisces. So it's like something today is like, you're able to peep something, you're aware of something, but at the same time, you don't want to expose your hand and let it be known that you know. But it's like hard to not let it be known that you know. It's how I'm feeling with this energy. But let's see what else comes out. Ooh, nice. So we have the star card that comes out. And the star card, ooh, okay. So I'm giving another, getting another vibe to this. So I love the star card in the upright position. It comes out after the tower. And the tower card represents something coming to an end. Like something has fallen apart. That's it. But the tower card to me is like, you know, after picking up the pieces after this thing has happened. And I love when the tower card comes out in the upright position because this person is vulnerable. You know, their nakedness shows their vulnerability. And for me, vulnerable in the sense that we're able to pretty much be honest with ourselves about everything that happened within a situation. We're being honest about our role in a thing. We're being honest about what happened. And to me, our role in everything is the most powerful thing we could become aware of because our role in a thing can determine whether something keeps happening to us or not. And with the tower card coming out along with the tarantula, and then I'm looking at the T-square being made, I'm also getting the feeling of like realizing that I don't even need to say nothing. Like, you know, I'm recognizing, I'm peeping what I'm peeping. I feel there is some kind of attention with the energies in the day some restriction around communication and what one is feeling on the inside. It's like knowing something and, have, and, and using everything in your power to just not say nothing. And with the star card coming out, to me, it's like learning from past experiences and realize it's just not even worth it. And I had a moment like this the other day where I was at this get together and this person walked in and was having a conversation with um this person walked in and i immediately could pick up the vibe and just knew that i didn't want to get involved but i'm just sitting back and i'm peeping the conversation but you know this person is pretty much letting the people that they're talking to know that they're about to drop like have a mic drop and demolish them it's like you don't announce that you're about to mic drop. To me, a mic drop is if the people who heard what you had to say, if it hit like that. But it's like this person is so convinced that they are well versed on on everything. They know everything and pretty much they're about to demolish everybody in the conversation. So first of all, this isn't even a conversation. This person's not even looking to have a conversation they're looking to pretty much lecture or teach or stun everybody in the room. And a few times the person looked to me to ask me my opinion. I'm like, I don't have one because it reminded me of this energy right here. Like, but my Merc but Mercury and Aries, I wasn't tempted to say anything because it felt like it was a waste of my energy because this person can't hear me anyways, nor does this person want to hear me, nor is my energy wasted like going towards that type of situation but it was just so interesting to like sit back and observe like maybe the old me 
would have wanted to add my two cents in the situation. But, you know, come into a place where it's like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. So it's like the person was like, what's your opinion on this or that? And even at times making it seem like, you know, because I'm not speaking or I don't have an opinion, I might be slow or something. But I was so okay with them thinking that. I was so okay with them thinking that I might be slow. Like it didn't even matter. And I feel like that might be something when it comes to the energies in today. Um, the day is the 27, two plus seven is nine. And so with the energies in the day and, and the two there, um, 27, the number two is nurturing is feminine. Feminine meaning is observant. Feminine meaning it's, 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 it's more reflective. And then the number seven energy that also di deals with diving deep, a, a reflective energy. You know, two plus seven is nine. The number nine doesn't want to rock the boat. And then the energies in the day adds up to number two vibrations. Like, I don't see the need for conflict. To me, the energies in today brings some of us to a moment where we realize how much we've grown. It brings you to a moment where you realize, now that I know better, I'm going to do better. So it's like with the moon entering into Scorpio, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel intense. I think also too, um, since what's been happening in Pisces with the stelliums that's been in Pisces and Pisces speaking positively to Scorpio, since the moon has been entering into Scorpio, um, lately, since Pisces have had everything happening with it, it's really been helping the moon. Because Pisces and Scorpio both water energy. And Pisces to me, um, so Pisces to me, Neptune Pisces energy would remind me of like the drug that a pregnant mom is given to deliver the baby and how the drug might cause her to feel no pain and just go into this dream like reality where it's like, like, I think that's what I said once where it's like a Neptune Pisces aspect remind me of that. It's like, a Neptune Pluto aspect remind me of that where like Scorpio energy is like the mom giving birth and then the Scorpio Scorpio energy is the mom giving birth Pisces energy Neptune energy is like getting that drug that causes the mom to like pretty much escape the moment the stress of what's happening in the moment even though it's also a beautiful moment but escape the painful aspect of the moment and experience the transformation, but experience it in a way that's kind of detached. I feel like the moon and Pisces energy, the moon and Scorpio energy, you know, Scorpio like Pluto energy is that transformative energy. And then Pisces energy is like the otherworldly. So to me, it's like going in a deep meditation and from being present and being still, even though things are happening around us that you know, we're not happy with, it's like counting to 10 and calming down. So it's like, yeah, moon and Scorpio energy is normally pretty intense. And, you know, normally shadow work time. And even though there's a T square being made to the moon, I personally feel like the positive aspect that's ma being made to the moon from Mars, Saturn, conjunct Venus and Pisces are all positively speaking to the moon and giving it the support that it needs so that it's like even though other things are happening to it it just doesn't feel as stressful or painful so there's some kind of a transformation happening especially with the star card coming out we're definitely seeing how we've grown and with the tarantula energy coming out, it's like we're weaving a new web. We're creating a new reality for ourselves. It's like basically seeing through everything. So like I mentioned for me with spiders and when they show up, when me normally not seeing our situation for what it is, to me, spider spiders would almost show up, remind me of like Neptune energy in my world. When spiders show up, it's like ne strong Neptune energy is present in something that I'm dealing with. So that means I might be projecting and not seeing something for what it is. And from that, I could disappoint myself because I'm not seeing the reality. Or it could be someone intentionally trying to hold information back or intentionally trying to deceive. 
So whenever they show up for me, I always know it's time to pay full attention to what's happening around. But with the tarantula energy showing up, I get also, um, I, and I look at what's happening on the chart, I get the feeling of, you know, being aware. It's like you're feeling the, the you're feeling the push and the pull from certain aspects of your life. And from it, you're able to open up your eyes and see what's happening, but not taking it as an attack. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, that's fine. That's just them being them or that's just that doing what it does. It's like someone having an experience today that would normally stress them out. But it's like, you know, it's going to be fine. You know, you're going to be taken care of. You know, the situation, this too shall pass. So it's like, you know, as we move further with the moon moving into Scorpio, maybe it might feel more intense, you know, when it comes to tomorrow's reading. But for now, like, you know, for today, Yes, there's challenges being made to our inner world and our mind. So our mind and our inner world is at odds, but our inner world is speaking so positively to the stellium and Pisces to the point that it's like we transcend or escape our reality, but not necessarily escape it. In some cases, maybe escape it. Um, but in other cases, to me, it's almost like choosing to focus our attention on something else is like redirecting our energy and attention is what I would say. And this is powerful to me. This really shows maturity and growth. Something about today's energies though shows you how much you've matured and growth grown show you how it's like when I first started someone laughing like child, it's like the old me would have, it's like someone saying that reflecting and realizing the old them, would have spanked somebody, but the new them just, you know, just smile and keep it pushing. You know, it's like someone coming to that kind of realization, realizing how much they've grown. And I mean, how often do you really sit down and reflect on how much you've grown? How often do you really take a look at your life and take inventory on how much you've grown, how you handle certain things now? compared to how you would have handled them before. I feel like today is the day for you to, you know, sit down and pretty much write a thank you letter to yourself or pat yourself on the back literally and say, thank you. You've grown like the way you do things like, you know, is, is, is so mature compared to how you used to do things. You know, we rarely ever celebrate ourselves and observe how much we've grown. And I feel like today is one of those days that is that that you should do that because certain things are coming up and you're realizing that you're handling things way different compared to how you normally would have handled things such a pleasure sharing this message with you hey guys i want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session the first one is understanding your internal programming the second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content and also to become a part of the meetup group which is my favorite thing on patreon the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a orange heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow 
love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.